KF7JHV, is KE7FLV? Congratulations, you've just had your first radio contact. Uh, how do you read this transmission? Coming in clear and loud. Sounds good. Sign off? Excellent. We look forward to hearing you on the radio more often. KE7 FLV is clear. Are you going to go for it, Mary Kay? Well, I, 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 I introduced and then I didn't. KF7 ALF. This is KE7 FLV. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did say my number earlier. She heard me. She knew it was me. Say it one more time for all of us. KF7 ALF over Now, is this your box that you take when you go on public service or uh, if I have to go someplace and do something? So it's always kind of set up ready to go. Well, I try to keep it in both as much as possible. Like when I go to CPAC next week, uh -huh. I'll be wandering around the convention center. So the things. Easier, I have a uh, headset with a built-in microphone. Oh, that's handy. And that ties into... So that just goes into your HT? Yeah. And I've got a bunch of HTs. And I find that putting everything in baggies makes it much easier to not lose things in your case. So how many HTs are sufficient? Oh, one dual band uh -huh. is usually adequate. Okay. Uh, I've got a bunch of them because I bought this handheld, which is a dual band, uh, before I came out with this one here. Uh -huh. This one can handle data communications for APRS, which is the uh, Amateur Position Reporting Service. Okay. This is an older version of handheld that's dual band receive but only single band transmit. And it's obviously good to have some redundancy and backup. Yes. And of course you always need a little bit of a toolkit. Uh-huh. So what can't be done with that is handled with a Leatherman. So that's a good little portable kit. Leatherman right. and your for troubleshooting, you need a DMM. I ended up swiping this as a freebie I got at work. And what do you do for work? I'm an electronics engineer. Uh -huh. So I've got a uh, DMM with leads. And DMM stands for? Digital multimeter. Okay. Another mag mount and uh, antenna for 440. And do oh, those, do those need ground planes like if you're working inside or not? Yeah, that's no? usually a good idea. Okay. Although these are metal frames here. Uh -huh. Like they've got the one antenna set up there. That'll it, work. Yeah, it'll, it's Suffice. It's not going to be real efficient, but it'll work. Okay. Um, if you're going mobile and need to put one on there, you need some sort of tape to keep the antenna from whipping or the wire cable oh, yeah. from whipping around. So the blue tape is much better than uh, okay. duct tape because duct tape leaves residue. Okay. This is painter So that, that works good for wind and then it doesn't take, it's no residue when you're taking it off your car. They're very little. Depends upon how long you leave it on there. If you leave it on there for a whole week in the sun, you'll have a Be a difference, yeah. It's a good little tip. Uh, in here I have manuals for all of my radios. So if I forget how to operate one, I've got the manuals handy. 
I'm thinking that's not going to be likely, but it's good to have those uh, <laughs> Everybody carries all of them. manuals. Just yeah, a, standard. Oh, yeah. Just, I mean, it doesn't take much room, but they can be a lifesaver. Of course. Uh, oh yeah, flashlight. Flashlight for nighttime when you got to dig in here and find things. Oh yes, repeater directory. Yeah. I think I've got a newer one than this, but can't locate it at the moment. Um, more tools, butane soldering iron, WD-40, of course the universal stuff, Pro butane fuel for the uh, soldering iron and solder, 